to the tavern. A big, big marketing team at the Wayward. Kiosks. These are the kiosks. Carrots. I didn't want to say anything, but I think I just ate something funny. What do you, what do you, what do you eat? Are you okay? I don't know. I'm seeing things. You like what? Yeah, I'm gonna go take a breather. Oh, 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 okay. Sure, you're gonna be all right. I'll be fine. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, hello. Make yourself at Who's home. Who's this? I did. Are you here for the responder training? Uh, I suppose. Responder training. That's right. They set up a radio signal that's been repeating for years now, calling people here to learn basic survival skills. It ain't like a trap or nothing, or? The responders are long gone now, but the training system is fully automated, so you can still learn everything you need to. Oh, I'm surprised okay. you didn't know that. You must be new around here. I'm pretty new, yeah. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? Maybe. <laughs> how, could, how could you tell? Uh, I sure am. I knew it. I could tell just by looking at you. I mean, I yeah, I, I do got the number on my back and everything. So amazing with the robots and all the machines and having everything you need every day. That's I mean, it was all right. Which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. No, I guess you're one of us now. So that's all in the past for you. You sure know how to cheer a guy up. Uh. Go right ahead. What's with the responder outfit? You're, you're one of them responders. I found it in one of the houses. It fits great, and it's really comfortable and pretty durable, too. I'd also be lying if I said it didn't have some sentimental value for me. I've admired the responders ever since I first heard about them. What they stood for, helping people no matter what. That was really important. All right, well, what's what about this area? Yeah, there's a couple of places around here that qualify as interesting, at least to me. The Agricultural Research Center is infested with feral ghouls and homicidal oh. robots. They're, they're, they're interesting. In there, yeah. They're up to it. The New River Gorge Resort to the east is the same story. Maybe, minus the robots. Uh, and how about you? Me? There's not much to tell, really. Uh, Heather? I came in with Paige and the rest and stayed up at Foundation for a while. Foundation. Nice, but eventually I wanted to go my own way, you know? Get out and see some places I've never seen, figure out who I am. When I heard the message on the radio about Flatwoods, I was curious to meet the responder, so I made my way here. I decided to stay here and see what else I could learn. That's pretty much my story. All right, well. Okay, what is it? Uh, thanks for your no time. Look, she's got a nice dog. Got some pie in there? Oh. All right, well, I guess this again. I guess we should use the thing. That's what that's what the overseer wanted. Free cooking lessons. I bet this town was really nice before the war. And the parking lot? Oh, hey, you're back. Feel all right? Mm hmm. Feel a bit better now. All right. There is literally a spine in here. Kitchen terminal. Interview two. Reverend Delbert Winters. Hi, I met you in the woods near the Morgantown Airport. You were picking flowers. Why? Uh, I was uh, harvesting a lot of stuff, actually. I, I hunted deer recently. Looked strange, but tasted fine. Hmm, okay. Well, what's a basic easy meal that someone who's been surviving on cans could make? Uh, you can make tea with dried flowers. 
It not much, but it can soothe your stomach. I don't know what this flower is called, but Maybe I Maybe we should get I some wolf some tea. Soot flower. <laughs> if you add it to water, you can make a tea. Same with rabbit meat or chicken meat. You can easily make soups with boiled water. God willing, we can adapt old recipes to new types of food. Well, what do you mean by that? Back in the army. We got sent off to places with weird fish I never heard of and weird veggies I never seen again. You know, we had to cook with them still. Just pretend it's catfish or something. You see how it turns out. But now, well, whew, let me say that I've seen some weird stuff. I thought maybe. I mean, there is weird stuff out here. These are all the creation of our Lord. Even if man has manipulated them, and dang it, they're still edible. Oh, um, okay. Well, uh, what kind of veggies do you eat? Yeah. All right, let's just. Chloe's my Maybe pet. save that one for well, later. Maybe I'm going on quite a bit. Sure. What's in there? Garbage. Garbage. Imitation seafood. I mean, it's food. Veg vegetarian ham. That's edible. I, I I think. Oh. Well, that that is not edible. No! Won't be the first time you see that. He had a hollow tape. Uh, I think this poor guy got stuck in there. Alright, well. A graveyard behind the church. Right most uh, grave. Right Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a small clearing. My savings are in an old stump. A little bit off the right, I swear. Please, please, please. Don't leave me here, please. I'm begging you, please. Rightmost grave. Stand, stand on it. Is that this one? I don't want to stand on it. but. And then go across the river. And then there's a stump. Oh heck, I gotta listen to that thing again. Hold on. Thirsty. What are you looking for? Uh, he's giving me directions here. A graveyard behind the church. I got that. The rightmost grave. Walk across the river. Uh, halfway, up the hill. halfway up the hill, there's a clearing. All right, that's up here. It's in an old stump. Is this one? Oh, there it is. You got 22 caps in here, and a pistol, and a reminder to myself. Reminder to myself. The responders are good people. Trying their damn best for sure. Things aren't good, and stuff is getting worse. Anyway, this is a reminder to myself, a reminder that this gun is my insurance. Things get real 
bad if the food runs out or the water runs dry. I get to decide how I leave this goddamn world. I'm not gonna let myself suffer. I'm not gonna die hungry. Watch that water, it's old. A little hot. Alright, well, I mean, I don't feel too bad taking this guy's caps. Uh, he's, he, he's dead. You don't need him no more. Anyway. Kiosk. This program was developed to turn regular survivors into certified responder volunteers. As a volunteer, your job is to help others, and our job as responders is to help everybody, including you. Register here. I registered. Welcome volunteer. Transfer in course to your external hardware. Report to responder Keisha McDermott for further instructions. Where's Keisha McDermott? Flatwoods River. All right, well, I suppose we gotta go find Keisha. You you don't got nothing uh, against these responders, folk, do you, Roxy? I mean, I know you're a raider and all, but they're all dead. I mean, fair enough. Except for uh, Heather in there, she's alive. Mr. Farmhands are out of control. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. There's Keisha. She's got a hollow tape in here too. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. It seems like a fine idea. So hi. I am Kesha McDermott. Kesha, Kesha. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka. Should we coordinating a help with this science fair for problem over here? Or? Kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around I found a couple oh. of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it and we hold up in a house in town for a while after a bit I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders oh we were overjoyed True from Watoka to Flatwoods. Oh. It was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I was like, they have a constant problem here. How happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated well heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil mm. water. <laughs> and I did. Got the world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science. Ah. Gotta shoot these these big ones in the back. That's like where their weak point is. Automated message. The forest watch detects all supervisors down. Good job. 
You want to go Expander in? Expander team, proceed to the Ag Center and get to the mainframe. You need to reset the farmhand targeting parameters. All right. That should keep our people safe in the area. Be careful. I mean, we can't have these robots running amok. Got to be something worth taking in here. Oh! Possible source of compostables detected. Locating material. Farming operations in progress. Oh. that sound oh look at this overseer's journal overseers let's call these personal journals not an official log just something for me the agricultural center one of my first posts with vault tech I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. <sighs> I remember one year at the Autumn Festival, me running through the corn maze, going every which way, Mom and Dad yelling after me to slow down. <laughs> Wasn't going to happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student. Stairs down over here. I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. I think that's where that noise is coming Being from. A kid. The three of us, our oh, simple life. More morts. Our simple house. I wonder if it's still standing. Here's a computer. Note. Scores were seen over by Tilly's farm. They're staying with us now, but it's only us and the children. All the men are at Morgantown. We haven't heard from them in weeks. You've been away so long working on these damn bots. These darn bots. I'm sorry. I apologize. Love, Marjorie. Well, let's try to change these parameters. Mr. Farmhands. No. Change farm hands. Uh, remove human class from the target list. I did it. Easy, easy peasy. All right, they shouldn't be attacking us no more. We still gotta test this water. I I guess it seems like a little bit of a busy work, but what we're supposed to do so. Much more peaceful out here without all them robots trying to shoot at us. Who's giving these farming robots laser guns anyway? Aren't you the smart one? You tell me. I mean, I, I ain't never been on a farm before. I'm from a vault. All our food's prepackaged. All right, I got it. I got a test sample. And cows always weird me out. Two heads. You better get used to it. You think they're smarter or dumber? You think they're smarter or dumber than a, than a one-headed cow? I couldn't say. Analyze it in Keisha's lab. Cop, sorry, Keisha, Keisha's lab. Where's Keisha's lab? 
this way. Good old Pit Boy always point me in the right direction. Move yourself. Another survivor story. Response right. NASA gave me some supplies in exchange for my survivor story. So, hi. My name is hi. Scott Shepard. Hi, Scott. Going all right. I was a nurse before the war, and I, I guess nothing much has changed. I just recipe over here. Responders now. I don't get paid. Government is basically the same now as it was years ago. Wrecked. Disorganized. Cannot be trusted. Everyone knows this. You want to know why the war actually happened? Aliens. You think I'm joking? Listen. Now, right before everything went to hell, I saw them. I was grilling hamburgers out in the yard with my dog, and I heard rustling from the bushes. Zapping noise. Next thing I know, I'm lightheaded and I felt myself fall into the ground. And I didn't even have a lot to drink. I woke up and I saw some little thing run into the bushes with my dog following it. And I knew something was wrong. I found my dog later with a clump of green skin in his mouth. Green skin? Green. Like moss or something. Did your dog find some kind of super mutant? Almost ten days later. Nine days, 19 hours to be exact. That's 235 hours precisely. You know what that is, right? That's right. The atomic I'm number of the FISO isotope of uranium. They had a plan from the very beginning. Sterilization. Why would they come after me first? Scott Shepard, the nurse. Well, good question. They have our blood. They knew which ones of us would survive. This is one big experiment to them. Volunteer this whole thing was staged. Our lives, our thoughts, everything was designed for us. Just like this conversation. Every word I'm saying. All right, more, more weird people from. Time to wake up, Appalachia. The war. Find the ones holding the strings and cut the cords. Uh, analyze water samples. Volunteer boiled water is necessary for equipment it hasn't sterilization. Improved. I got a boil of water. Assist. Boil the water using dirty water and wood fuel. I got some of that. Boil water. Did it. Right. Well, I guess that's it. Seems like a lot to go through just to teach me how to boil water. I I, I kind of already got that idea, you know. All right, I did it. I must complete one more experiment for the responders to become a full volunteer. I need to find Delbert Winters. Is that the guy I was just listening to? He's at Delbert's home at 21 Bridge Street. He runs the kitchens. over here I think getting a tad a little sum oh uh, I got another got another dead one over here responder it looks like is wearing the uniform set up a trap for the you know who's and use hollow tape to try and record their noises at night get a lock for the secret stash by the Brahmin tubs behind the house I think I got that one Get a bigger gun or more guns or both. Try to tame a wild dog or a giant rat. Well, good luck with that, buddy. Hmm. 
You guys have been pretty quiet. You you, you doing okay? Pretty grim here. Yeah. It's true. Everybody is dead. I mean, you gotta keep Tonight, your chin up. You know, you gotta. I yeah, think positive. You know, I'm, I'm out here to to build stuff. Off the foundation of an already broken foundation. Listen to some kind of story. I didn't hear part one though. I don't want to listen to it now, but I can't stop it. I'll listen to it later. Over pocket watch. I'm still learning the rules. Mostly, they're kind of boring and only hurt when you use the needles. Needles? Yeah, you know, like at the dock. Oh. This doesn't sound like any game I know. No, I think Delbert Winters like is dead. I guess that weren't the, the guy we were listening to before, but. No, no. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin until the heavens open up again. I need to use his computer. All up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most, it was time. This was the end. But, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake. That we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give huh. enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked I asked how? Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind the dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned him. Seemed obvious. We tried, but got sick, they said, covered in their own food. Oh. I realized right there. I think they want there, me to get some meat from the from the cows. They really want me to kill one of them now, cows? I built kitchens, cooked good food. Fed Why not? Walked up with an empty belly, and I was thankful for my task in life. Actually, thankful. I think. I saw some meat around here somewhere. I'll be swept clear away with it. Maybe someone grabbed it already. Let's share a home cooked meal together, all right. Well, I don't think that I can just talk one of them cows into giving me some meat, so Uh I'm sorry, Bessie, but I I need some I need some meat, so You're gonna need something with more kick. Good lord. That's a lot of meat. Well, I do have this, but I don't got a lot of cells for it. It's a little heavy for me, too. Kinda wish I had a smaller one. Uh, I guess I could have gotten some meat here. Ah, it's spoiled meat, though. I, I, I can't eat no spoiled meat. Alright, I gotta cook. Ribeye steak. Hey, cooking lessons. Don't think they're gonna be giving nobody some cooking lessons anymore. Possum, don't you get over here. This meat's for me, not you. Ribeye steak. Let's make all of them. I did it. I got some ribeye. Job two. Done. Hey Heather, I'm I'm doing it. I'm becoming a responder. Make yourself at home. I did. Complete training. I did it. I got access to the database, whatever that means. I think I gotta use the other the other terminal over here. Is this really what the overseer wants me to do? Log in. Volunteer. Can you say that on that tape? 
I mean, she said go through all the tests, and and that's what I that's what I've been doing. I contacted. Urgent message. A large order scorched is on the move and might be headed for our main base at Morgantown Airport. All personnel are requested to report to HQ as soon as possible. Bring weapons and medical supplies. We gotta go to Morgantown, I suppose. Chloe looks after me. She's the best guardian a girl could have. Where's Morgantown? Way up there. Well, guess we're going to go to Morgantown. Hey, uh, uh, Roxy, don't go into this one. She, she sent me there to, to make sure that you don't bother her anymore. Keep your word, and we won't. I will, however, look in here. I don't got any oil in here. Got a suit. Your overseer's awfully bossy for not being a... Well, uh... She always was the boss. I mean, that's kind of... What it means to be an overseer, you know? You, you oversee the whole vault. Where is it? Morgantown? Morgantown. I guess it's kind of north northeast of here. Apparently they got an airport there and everything. I wonder if they got any working planes. I've never seen one of them. Saw Vertibird earlier. You, you ever see them? No. Saw flying around. Don't know where I was going. Onward, I suppose. You guys coming? What is going on over there? Raiders! Might have to save this uh, laser gun for later. Don't got much ammo for it. Stick together, we can grow foundation and restore this land. Think we can get inside here? Well, we can. Well, a little bit inside. Oil! Nice. Very nice. Don't know what half this stuff is, but I'll take it. I'm getting sick of potatoes. I know they're easy to grow, but how about a little variety? This ain't, uh... This ain't their stuff, is it? I'm just kind of taking it. <laughs> I imagine it is. Well, uh, they, 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 they won't miss it. It's fine. If they didn't want you to take it, they would have told you. Let's, uh, let's, let's mosey on out of here. The mine up here. Could be some good stuff in the mine. Some guy was talking about how there's like a lot of gold around here. Hmm. There's gold, if you know where to look. I mean, that's like what he said, almost word for word. Oh no. We got these guys. I know that sound. Where, where is he? Above us. Upstairs. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! He got hit me with an axe! Like some kind of crazy murderer! 
Anything else up here? You need all this for just for a mine? Speaking of mine. A rifle up here. Make it back up. Oh, there we go. Got it. So, who who hauled a couch all the way up here? And these two, I guess. Made them dead tired. All right. Well, let's go inside, I guess. Don't this feel oppressive? It hey, came from a hole. I mean, it looked a lot better than this. Ooh. Gr Grognac the Barbarian. Sure, I'll read that later. Uh, there's a safe here. I can't open it. Aren't you supposed to be smart? I mean, show me a terminal I can hack into it, but safes are a bit, you know, out of my league. None. Now, if there was a terminal connected to it. Oh, you got it. Nice. Piece of cake. Got more armor. Well, might as well. Might as well take the toilet spices. Well, it certainly looks like a mine. You're an authority on mines. Oh, we got these guys in here. This is a big mine. So much ammo for my pistol. I'd rather it be a laser pistol. Light her up. Hollow tape here. Okay, gang, the boss wanted me to leave you some instructions. Since you apparently can't run this mine without me holding your hands, we're gonna light this place up today. The holes are drilled, so just get the dynamite packed in and wired up. Make sure everyone's a safe distance this time. Tommy, you do not touch the plungers. Got it? You're the reason we're down two guys this month. Carl, you're in charge. Don't fuck this up. Language. I'm thinking 
can uh I'm thinking maybe we should back out of here. I don't wanna risk getting blown up by some dynamite. We've come this far. I mean we go a little further and get vaporized. All right. Maybe we'll look for the gold another time. When, you know, we're not going to get blown up or attacked by the by the scorched. Don't worry. They'll attack you outside of the mine too. All right. Well, it's night time now. Here's what I think we should do. I think we should go back to camp. We should cook ourselves up some grub and have a nice little rest. And then go in the morning. Scared of the dark. You know, when it's light. I mean, I'm scared of getting attacked by these scorched in the dark or the, or the ugly dogs or the big ugly chicken that we saw your camp's the worst place we could go then well I mean I could put up some walls or some it ain't nothing I got the I got the materials for it I'll get I'll get some more pick me up some wood on the way build us up a little shack it'll be fine There we go. We got this. And we got this. And then lastly, just for you, Roxy. We got this. There we go. Oh, we might we, need, we might need a, a roof up here. Perfect. See, ain't this defensible enough? Got a door and everything. Hmm. Well, it's not a it's not a mine shaft. I mean, no, but they don't got no TNT neither. Move this, move this over here. There we go. A little bit more room for us. Now I think, after a good night's sleep, we go on up to that airport. And we and we see what's what. We get a little breakfast. Look, we got these we got these these soldier people here looking after us up up there on the road. We'll be fine. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm good. All right. Well, I'll, I'll come and check if you're still alive in the morning. All right. Well. Good night. Wolf with an E. Uh, good night, Roxy. Uh, don't shoot me in my sleep, please. I won't shoot you. You're not done yet. Right. 